five underrated and undervalued altcoins on Coinbase. Let's get into it. So Chris, today we are going to be taking a look at the five altcoins that we think are undervalued on Coinbase. As we get into this, guys, if you do find this video useful and informative, hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to stay up to date with all those hidden gems and new cryptocurrencies that we talk about here at Cheeky Crypto, then do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you'll stay well informed. So why not? And, and Chris, is there anything else you would like to add before we jump down to the desktop and start taking a look at these five undervalued altcoins on Coinbase? Just let us know if you think there's one that we've missed. Really interested to know. Let us know in the comments below. Fantastic. Okay, so Coinbase, uh, there is a whole host of projects on Coinbase and um, it's hard to sometimes navigate and know which ones are worth investing in and which ones are not. And we actually do spend quite a bit of time, Chris, don't we, of going through various mm. different altcoins um, and kind of, you know, evaluating whether or not they are, you know, of the value or, you know, potentially undervalued. And um, we kind of went through Coinbase earlier today, just trying to go through and try to find the, at least in our opinion, most undervalued altcoins, five of them. Um, and then share that with you guys and get your thoughts and opinions. And uh, maybe you want to do more research on these projects. So um, without holding it up anymore, Chris, let's get into that very first project. That very first altcoin that we're going to be talking about has to be Anchor. Now, Anchor is something that we talk quite a bit about on the channel. Um, it's one of those fantastic projects that basically is a solution that utilizes shared, uh, shared resources in order to provide easy and affordable blockchain node hosting services and solutions. Um, so if you're running uh, or wanting to run a node for a particular blockchain, then Anchor is usually the first place you want to potentially start looking. This project was actually founded, I think, back in 2017. And uh, during its time on the market, it has built a marketplace um, for you know container-based cloud service through the uses of shared resources and um it's a, a fantastic little project and it's done incredibly well so far in 2021 but i still find that this project is undervalued and um, so you know this in turn ultimately does mean that uh, there's opportunity um so when it comes to anchor um you know in terms of a public blockchains are able to engage in communities and provide further assistance to their network. So using Anchor, you can basically provide that service for the community. So if you wanted to do a Bitcoin node or an Ethereum node, you could go ahead and actually utilize Anchor to do those things for you. And um, Anchor is also, you know, does aim, sorry, I should say, to, to build an infrastructure platform and marketplace for Web3 stack deployment um, to enable resource providers as well as end users to connect to blockchain technologies and DeFi applications. Um, so there's quite a lot going on here with uh, with Anchor. It's also the top validator for the Binance Smart Chain as well. So um, some fantastic news and partnerships have been coming up recently with Anchor. And ultimately, they're quite heavily integrated with a lot of different blockchains, heavily so because they can create those, uh, those nodes, those validator nodes um, for um, a lot of projects, Chris. And yeah, it, quite simple to do. It's a one-click solution. You basically just pay anchor and you will have a node up and running and it is incredibly quick um a one button solution so i think uh, there's a lot going on with anchor um and i think that ultimately it has huge huge potential there's a maximum supply of 10 billion anchor to uh, anchor coins and uh, i think at the moment chris has about 6.4 billion in circulating supply so things are looking quite interesting in terms of like a market cap um, it's about $1 billion market cap at the moment. It has seen significant gains. There's no denying that. But this thing has huge potential still to continue a rally. So about $6.9 in circulating supply. Um, and I think this thing could quite easily get to one, two, maybe even higher in terms of dollars. So huge potential with Anchor and is currently um, in sterling, as you can see on the screen here, uh, 11 cent, which translates to roughly about 15 cent uh, rather than 11 pence. So huge potential with, with Anchor. Chris, anything else you'd like to add with uh, with coin number one? Yeah, so I mean, I think they've got about 8,000 um, plus nodes deployed and the integrations that they've got, you know, Binance, uh, Avalanche, um, Compound, Harmony One, Polkadot, Matic, like 
stacks the list goes on and on new cipher waves you know you could just go on and on and on with this one and i i think like you do nick's just really undervalued i mean we picked this up super super early uh, when you consider the price discovery we've seen um and i think that's going to continue right i think a bit of consolidation and i think we're off to the races again this one Absolutely. I, I do think uh, this thing is giving up for another rally. So um, yeah, interesting one. Do some research into that if you're if you're interested in a bit of uh, a bit of anchor. But uh, then, Chris, that takes us on to the second project, which has to be um, Polygon, which was formerly known as Matic. Um, and Matic uh, or Polygon has um, has some interesting use cases, right? So Polygon is the first well-structured, easy-to-use platform for Ethereum scaling and infrastructure development. Its core component is the Polygon SDK, a modular flexible framework that supports building multiple types of applications. Using Polygon, uh, one can quite Cre uh, can create optimistic roll-up chains, uh, ZK roll-up chains, standalone chains, and any other kind of infra, um, you know, required by the developer. So, you know, Polygon's um, effectively transforms Ethereum into a fully fledged multi-chain ecosystem, um, or, you know, AKA the internet of blockchains. The multi-chain system is akin to others, uh, such as Polkadot, Cosmos, Avalanche, etc. cetera. Um, but it does have a few of those advantages that you get with Ethereum. So securities, vibrant ecosystem, openness, etc. cetera. Um, but you know, the Matic uh, is the token, right? And um, it will continue to exist, uh, even though they've changed the name and will play an increasing, increasingly important role in securing this system and enabling governance. So Polygon, which I said before was uh, formerly known as the Matic Network, is a layer two um, scaling solution backed by both Binance and Coinbase. So it kind of makes sense that uh, you know Binance and Coinbase are you know, wanting to see this thing succeed. The project seeks to stimulate mass adoption of cryptocurrencies by resolving the problems of scalability on many blockchains. Um, so I'm not going to go into a lot more detail. You can get into a lot more um, in-depth kind of stuff around Polygon. It's just worth doing a bit of research into it. Again, I'd still feel this one is super cheap and potentially undervalued considering there is only a maximum supply of 10 billion and um, it has a circulating supply of 5 billion tokens at the moment. As you can see here in sterling, it's 27 pence, which translates roughly at about 37 cent. Um, currently, Chris, I think this is like a $1.8 billion uh, market cap, and that is about $1.3 billion in sterling. So still huge potential here. Can see this thing easily getting to a dollar, potentially probably even moving up past that two to three dollar range. So still huge amounts of gains on the table, even though some significant gains have already been made. Um, back in, I think it was like uh, December of 2020, Chris, this thing would have been about a penny or 1.8 cent or so. So huge opportunities were made and some people have seen some magnificent uh, multiplications on their um, investments so far. But Polygon's doing incredibly well and I think it's going to continue to do well. But Chris, what's your thoughts on on Polygon? Well, invested, been invested in this one for, for a while under obviously the, the previous branding of Matic. Um, yeah, I think it's really good. Great use case, solid team, solid tech. And um, yeah, I feel like it's going to do well. And I still feel that it's undervalued. So, you know, it's 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 always a challenge when you, you look at Coinbase. Obviously, uh, the reason we we're doing this video in the first place is because you know this is the first place that sort of the newer investor would would use right and uh, there's limited projects on there so you know it's really important to to sort of call out uh, polygon as as one of those projects i felt fantastic right so let's move on to um you know project number three altcoin number three which um has to be something that actually has been on uh, on Coinbase a little while now, um, and it has done incredibly well, and that has to be Decentraland. Okay, so Decentraland uh, defines itself as a virtual reality platform powered by the Ethereum blockchain that allows users to create, experience, and monetize content and applications. In this virtual world, users purchase plots of land um, that they can later navigate, build upon and monetize. So Decentraland uh, was uh, launched following a $24 million initial coin offering on ICO um, that was conducted way back in 2017. 
The virtual world launched its core beta in 2019 and opened to the public in February 2020. And since then, uh, users have created a wide range of experiences um, on their parcels of land, including interactive games, um, sprawling 3D scenes, and a variety of other um, you know, interactive experiences. So decentralized, uh, uh, decentralized land, I should say, um, uses two tokens, the mana and land. So mana is the token that we're talking about here, which is a decentralized, uh, decentralized land price that you're seeing on the screen. Um, and that is an ERC-20 token and must be burned um, to acquire non-fungible um, ERC-721 land tokens. So mana tokens can also be used to pay for a range of uh, avatars, wearables, names, um, and more on the Decentraland uh, marketplace. So it has quite a vibrant ecosystem around it. It's uh, definitely had quite a long time uh, of kind of development and getting that to market and actually launching in 2020, uh, February 2020. It's done some phenomenal gains since launching on Coinbase. And I still think this one has huge potential. So currently in circulating supply is 1.5 billion mana tokens. There's a market cap of about $1.6 billion, uh, which translates to about 1.2 billion pounds sterling. And um, this is about a dollar token, Chris, at the moment. I still feel that this thing has huge potential to continue rising in value, uh, it, it, uh, rising in value as we start to um, get more and more into this thing. I think it's only really just starting out its journey, and I think it's going to have quite a vibrant ecosystem come you know, towards the end of the year. So I'm pretty optimistic about this one. I think it feels pretty good. Um, definitely a little bit further along the, the road than some of the other ones that we've spoken about, such as uh, yeah, Anchor. Um, but this one definitely does seem to be pretty good, Chris. Any any thoughts that you want to leave the guys with on this particular project? Yeah, really like it. Um, this is one that we're not invested, just for clarity. Uh, we're not invested in, in Decentraland. Um, but, that, you know, that could change. I want to have a play with it. Um, and and see perhaps purchase a, a plot of land and maybe build some stuff and have a little play and if i like it and i think it's got legs um then yeah I'll, i'm likely to invest in it but with all that said it does look undervalued um you know i'm not really a gamer as such so um it's kind of out of the the reams of something that i would normally get into um but yeah it look it looks like a solid solid project nick and uh it should definitely have made it into this uh top five Fantastic. So the next project or the next altcoin that we're going to be talking about, number four, has to be New Cypher. So New Cypher is a decentralized e uh, e encryption access control and management system, uh, a KMS, um, and the encryption service for public blockchains, right? So New Cypher offers the end-to-end -end encryption data sharing on public blockchains and decentralized storage solutions. So New Cypher basically allows users to share private data between a number of participants in public consensus networks using proxy re-encryption or PRE technology. Um, and this uh, decryption technology makes New Cypher more much more than you know secure than the and sorry and let's say more secure and protected um, than traditional blockchain projects based on public key encryption according to new cipher at least and new cipher um or the nu uh, token are the native tokens used uh, on the larger new cipher network and um, the tokens are used to incentivize network um, participants for performing key management services and uh, assessing delegation and revocation um, operations on the network. So new the new tokens, uh, NU tokens, um, are also used for staking to run a new Cypher worker node um, for the new Cypher network um, it is protected against uh, malicious attacks and um, staking and things like that and would automatically slash any um, suspected users uh, rewards. So there is a bit of a, a, a thing here. It is quite an interesting project and um, I still feel this thing has a lot of potential to it. So currently um, priced here at 42 pence or 58 cents uh, um, in USD. Um, what's really interesting about this project is it is relatively new. It's quite fresh. Um, it has a maximum supply of 3.8 billion tokens of which only 408 million of them are actually out in circulation supply right now there's a market cap that's actually absolutely tiny it's 238 million dollars so um, it has huge potential to grow you could probably see this thing 5x quite comfortably that would get you into that range of about 200 to two dollars fifty 
um, or around that one one pound sixty sterling, around that kind of range, quite comfortably. That would happen pretty quickly. Um, and I think this thing even could go much further than that. It definitely seems to have a lot of uh, legs to it, and is something that has a bit of a use case that you can see actually working. So I think this thing, um, from you know a FOMO point of view, is definitely ticks a lot of boxes. It's quite cheap. People can acquire it relatively quickly. It's on Coinbase already. Um, and obviously it's got a low market cap. So I think once that FOMO starts kicking in, this thing's going to pick up and move very, very fast. Uh, the low market cap means that, um, well, the low market cap in combination with a low circulating supply means it doesn't take a lot of money to get this needle moving very, very fast to the upside. So very interesting project, definitely feels incredibly undervalued. Um, I am invested in NewCypher. I have been for a while since it kind of launched on Coinbase. I haven't got a huge holding on it, but it's there. And um, I can see this one doing incredibly well. But Chris, what's your thoughts on NewCypher? Yeah, the same as you. Really like the use case. I can see that it's going to do really, really well. Um, still undervalued, in my opinion. Um, and this is also one that I'm invested in, Nick. And um, yeah, I expect it to do really well. Fantastic. And then obviously number five, the very last altcoin that we feel is undervalued on Coinbase. Um, then that, that has to go to you, Chris band okay and i know a lot of people be thinking this is not undervalued or it's quite expensive in comparison to the others um but band protocol is it ha has to be called out okay and um, band protocol is a cross-chain data oracle platform that is able to take real world data and supply it to the on-chain applications um, while also connecting APIs to smart contracts to facilitate the exchange of information between on-chain and off-chain data sources. So by supplying a reputable, verifiable, real-world data to blockchains, Band Protocol unlocks a range of new cases uh, new use cases for developers to explore. Since uh, they can now use any type of real-world data as part of their decentralized um, you know, application or DAP, the logic and including sports, weather, random numbers, price feed data, and more, right? And so Band Protocol initially launched an ERC20 um, project on the Ethereum blockchain in September of 2019, but transitioned to the Cosmos network in June 2020 um, with the release of Band Protocol 2.0. And the new protocol is built on Band Chain using the Cosmos SDK. Oracle nodes on Band Chain um, not only relay data, but are also involved in block production and validation, giving them a dual role. And BAND is the native token of the BAND protocol ecosystem and is used as collateral for validators or by validators involving in fulfilling data requests, as uh, well as the main medium of exchange on BAND chain. So uh, being used for paying basically for that private data. So things are really interesting here with this token. And let me get into why I feel this is undervalued. So currently in uh, Sterling, you can see this is £12.59, uh, sorry, 59 pence. Um, in USD, that translates to about $17.39. And um, we just talk about that market cap for a second, because in Sterling, that's £260 million Sterling market cap is tiny it's really small the market cap in dollars is about 356 um million dollars okay and that thing has huge potential to grow so there's a total supply of 100 million tokens of which only 20.4 million are actually out in circulation right now so it doesn't take a lot of money to move that needle quite far so at $17 or £12, depending on which way you want to look at that, um, this thing could potentially 10x relatively quite comfortably. It doesn't have to go all that far. And it is a, in the same kind of realm as that of Chainlink, right? So Chainlink is that other Oracle platform, that one that's so heavily integrated. And Band Protocol is also getting quite a lot of partners and integrations coming up. So things with, uh, with Band are definitely going to start heating up quite nicely. And I can see this project, because it is so significantly undervalued, could really move quite nicely. And to put that into context, Chris, we have a market cap of, um, I think it's uh, $12 billion for Chainlink. This market cap for, for Band sits at 356 million. So this thing could 
quite comfortably do some significant moves to the upside and um, it probably wouldn't even break a sweat. So really interesting project. I do feel this one has huge potential, feels very undervalued on Coinbase here. Um, and obviously I think this is gonna get picked up by quite a few people during 2021. It definitely feels like it has a lot of potential. But Chris, what's your thoughts on this last, uh, last altcoin? Yeah, really like it, Nick. Um, it's not one that I'm invested in at the moment, um, but you know, it, it, it's one of those I could have got in much earlier. Um, but you know, we, we do talk about sometimes that, uh, it isn't an opportunity if you're not in a position to, to invest, right. And never overextend yourself. So, um, yeah, it's one of those, like I look at it and I think oh, I could have got that so much cheaper, <laughs> but yeah, I still think it's undervalued Nick. Absolutely. So guys, those are our five undervalued altcoins on Coinbase. If you have found this video useful and informative, hit that like button. We both really do appreciate that. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you're, um, you know, wanted to stay up to date with all of those hidden gems and new cryptocurrencies that we talk about here at Cheeky Crypto, then do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you will stay well informed. So why not? And with that said, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one.